Hi everyone and welcome to the third installment of our Rigging for Beginners series. In this video we'll be looking at reefing the mainsail. A big thank you for all your comments and input to the first two videos and again feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. When we talk about reefing the mainsail we talk about reducing its surface area or its size. In gentle mild wind conditions we are able to sail our vessel with a full mainsail. If our wind increases in strength, we need to reduce sail size so that we relieve stress on our boat as well as ourselves. Reducing the sail size lessens the potential for knockdowns and makes for a more comfortable time on board. Most modern cruisers can be reefed three times, the third reef used in extreme conditions. Please note that reefing systems differ, so this is not the only system you will find. Please make sure you familiarize yourself with any reefing system on a vessel you sail. Coming up a bit later, safety while moving on deck. Our sail is basically a triangle, so it can be secured at three points. The top area is known as the head, the bottom corner at the front is known as the tack, and the bottom corner at the back is known as the clue. When we reef a sail, the connection at the head will stay the same only the height varies. Our reef 1 tack sits here waiting to be used. The reef 1 clue is here. Reef 2 tack is here. Reef 2 clue is here and waiting to be used. And reef 3 tack and clue is up here also waiting to be used. At the tack of our sail we will find a kringle, which is a reinforced hole through the sail attached to a shackle or a permanent fixture. The reef 1 kringle sits a bit higher, waiting to be clipped over the reef hook as shown here. The same applies to reefs 2 and 3. The clue of the sail is attached to the outdoor line and its tension can be controlled from the cockpit. This outdoor line is used to alter tension on the mainsail when we are using a full mainsail. When we lower the sail and reduce its surface area, the line running through the next kringle becomes our new outdoor line, known as Reef 1 line. If we lower the sail even more, then the line running through our next kringle becomes our new outdoor, known as Reef 2 line. If we again reduce sail size, then the next kringle becomes our clue and reef 3 line will secure it. The ends of these lines are secured to the boom at our new clue positions. In our first video, we demonstrated how we use our mainsail halyard to hoist or lower our mainsail. This halyard would again be used when reefing the sail. You will also recall that this halyard cannot be eased out until the halyard jammer has been opened. As with all other actions involving the mainsail, we want to raise the boom while performing these steps. To do so, we must release the kicker. Then with our topping lift, we can raise the boom and then use our mainsail halyard with an open jammer to lower the sail. We lower the sail to the level of the first set of kringles, the reef 1 settings. Close the halyard jammer. Attach reef 1 kringle over the reef hook. Adjust the halyard tension by winching the halyard up. And now we can lower our boom back into position. Winch and secure the kicking strap. Because the sail has been lowered, we now have to secure our new outdoor line, which is the reef 1 line. Use the winch to secure the line. Ensure the reef 1 jammer is closed once done. Then, just to clear things up, we might want to get our other two reef lines out of the way. 
Now you might have noticed some other kringles which we've not mentioned yet. At this part of the sail is not supported in any way, we want to lash them down to avoid catching any wind. To do this we use reef ties, which could be loose or sometimes even attached to the actual sail. We are now sailing on a sail which has been reduced to reef 1. Should the conditions or forecast increase, we will have to reef further and sail under reef 2. The procedure is basically the same. Release the kicker, raise the boom, lower the sail, attach Kringle to reef hook, increase tension, close halyard, the sail will be lowered to reef 2 positions. Lower the boom, secure the kicker. With the winch, secure our new outdoor line using reef 2 line. Clean up all other loose lines, secure the sail with reef ties. In extreme conditions, we might need to triple reef. Kicker, boom, lower, hook, tension, halyard, boom, kicker. Secure the new outdoor line and lash with reef ties. During all these actions, someone will have to move around on deck in adverse conditions. We cover these safety measures as soon as we shake out our reefs. We are currently sailing on a triple reef mainsail, and as soon as conditions improve, we can think about adding some sail area. Remember that pretty much all our lines are secured and jammed, so this sail cannot move until we start releasing some lines. Our reef kringles are also holding the sail down in position and will need to be clipped off to hoist the sail. Where we go from here depends on the conditions. We have options to return to reef 2 or reef 1. We also have the option of using our full sail. Whatever decision the skipper makes, it's important that all crew are aware of the plan and understand what is expected of them. First, remove all reef ties. As with all other mainsail actions, we need to release the kicker so we can raise the boom. If we want to raise the sail, we have to also release all our reef lines, so open up the reef jammers. Unhook the reef kringle from the reef hook. We can then hoist the mainsail to a position which has been decided. To ensure the sail stays in position, close the mainsail halyard lower the boom and secure the kicker. So let's talk about safety. The following slides can be saved from our website and you can find the link down below in the video description. So first things first, try to reef early. Reefing a sail means somebody needs to go on deck. Try to reef before these conditions change. Check your ocean passage guides to learn prevailing conditions. Always keep an eye on your barometers and be alert. Check the skies, watch the sea. Basically, don't take chances. As soon as the thought enters your mind, put a reef in. Don't delay, just get it done. Reefing should be practiced regularly to ensure that your skills are up to scratch. Practice the procedure and always be ready to reef. Not only that, but make sure that your vessel is prepared and ready for reefing. While reefing, someone's going on deck. Always wear a life jacket and your harness. Stay and move around on the windward side of the vessel 
And of course, one end for yourself, one end for the boat.